Qualcomm yesterday unveiled its new flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 888, boasting a 5G modem with both MM Wave and sub 6 gigahertz 5G support and an AI engine capable of 26 tops. This will be the chip that will be powering a universe of devices from the likes of LG, Motorola, OnePlus, Oppo, and basically anyone else beginning next year, quoting CNET. The chip that will power most high-end 5G phones next year is here, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. And for the first time in its ultra-high-end lineup, Qualcomm has integrated its 5G modem on the same chip as the Brains, AI, and other processor features, likely giving 5G phones a boost in battery life. Last year's Snapdragon 865 had a standalone modem, while Qualcomm integrated 5G connectivity with the processor system on its mid-range Snapdragon 765 and 765G systems on a chip, or SOCs. Many people expected Qualcomm's highest-end chip to be the first Snapdragon system on a chip to have an integrated modem, but the company at the time said if it didn't pair back the modem or the app processor features, the resulting chip would be too big and too power-hungry for high-end smartphones. Qualcomm chose not to compromise on either feature for its high-end phones, but was willing to make some compromises for its mid-range chip lineup. With the Snapdragon 888, Qualcomm gets back to its SoC strengths, and phone users will benefit. The biggest advantage of systems on a chip are better battery life and lower cost. Instead of two chips taking up room in a phone, there's just one resulting in thinner, sleeker phones or more room for bigger batteries. Having an integrated chip also enables device makers to quickly develop phones for essentially any 5G network in the world, and it makes 5G handsets cheaper for consumers. Quote, it gives you everything you need in a single package and theoretically makes phone design easier, cheaper, and just better integrated, technanalysis research analyst Bob O'Donnell said, end quote. 